Hello! This is a short getting started video for Automatic Sync Technologies Caption Sync Automated Captioning Service. The first place I'd like you to bookmark is the very page you found this video on, our How To Videos page. There are many useful videos dealing with various media players, what to do with caption results, how to author DVDs, how to caption podcasts, and much more. If you have questions, please look here first. There's a better than average chance your question has already been asked and answered on this very page. So let's move on on how to use our system. I have a real webcast here from the 2004 CSUN conference. So let's look at our before webcast without the captions. I would like to thank one of our sponsors, Hewitt Packard for contributing and making this keynote breakfast and presentation possible. So will you please join me in a... So let's go. First, let's go to www.automaticsync.com slash caption and choose login button in the upper right hand corner. This takes you to the secure caption sync web server. Note the secure icon in the lower status bar. Note also that your browser may inform you that you're entering a secure website. Here we log in with our username and password. Please contact us if you don't already have one. The first time you log in, you will be presented with AST's terms and condition. Please have a read before proceeding. Now we are presented with a submission page which is fairly straightforward. In the simplest case, all we need is a description and our media file. For our media file, the service will accept Flash, QuickTime, iTunes, RealPlayer, or Windows Media Player and automatically extract the audio. We can also submit audio such as M4As, MP3s, or WAV files directly. If we have a text transcript, we simply select it here. If we don't, we can have it transcribed. Standard turnaround is two to three business days. One business day rush is also available. So let's select our media file now. And since we have a transcript, let's select it. We will cover the advanced settings and many of the left-hand menu items in our in-depth video. So in this case, let's just press the submit button now and upload our file. We are presented with a pop-up progress window. This may or may not appear depending on your browser version, and it may or may not work correctly depending on your browser version. If this progress window does not function properly, do not close it. Rather, wait for the main window below to update. The amount of time this takes will vary depending on your network speed, size of file, and network traffic. Got about five seconds left. Our progress window disappears, and now we need to wait for our main page to update. On longer files, it may take a little longer. We now see a message telling us everything was received successfully and what to expect back from Audi Automatic Sync Technologies. Please note this reference number. This is how Automatic Sync Technologies identifies the many submissions they receive every day. You should receive back an email to, at this address, from this address, with the subject line like this, and the attachments like this, in about 10 minutes. But we can see the status 
now by visiting reports in the left hand nav. We can filter this further to our period of interest such as today and we see that our submission is awaiting synchronization. For ones which have completed, you will also see in addition to the parameters used for this submission, results at the bottom of the email, uh, the bottom of the page. This is useful in the case where the email is lost and you uh, have either deleted it and you still need your results. But let's look at our email now. Here we go and here are our attachments. So basically we just need to save those into the directory where our um, original files are. And now let's look at our webcast as it should be with captions. I would like to thank one of our sponsors, Hewitt